Hi there, welcome to Holy Spirit Seminary, which is the seminary for the whole of Queensland, the Wolf Life Diocese. Why don't we go have a look around? Welcome to the Oratory. It's called the Oratory because directly across from here, across the Oval, is Holy Spirit Chapel, which is the original chapel of the seminary. It now sits within Australian Catholic University's campus here in Brisbane. One of the first things you'll notice in here, in the Oratory, is that the chairs are lined along the sides facing each other. That's called choir formation. And it's when the seminarians come together to pray the Divine Office or the Prayer of the Church together. The Divine Office is a collection of prayers, hymns, psalms and readings that they pray from side to side. If we come over this way, we'll see an icon. And it's a very special icon. It depicts the Annunciation, which is an important moment in Scripture because it's the first Christian vocation. Gabriel announces to Mary that she will bear the child of God. And so this is an important moment for the seminarians to reflect upon because Mary is a model of discernment and vocation, the first person who brings Christ into our world. And another feature, which is quite spectacular, is this way. If we head towards the back of the oratory, we'll notice this stained glass window, as well as this dove. This dove is actually the tabernacle, and it's suspended from the ceiling. This comes from an ancient practice in the church where only enough host, consecrated body of Christ, would be kept aside for adoration. And so the tabernacle, it's in the shape of a dove, symbolising the Holy Spirit. So that's the oratory. Let's now go to the Hark, the Health and Recreation Centre. So this is Mount Bathysby. And Brisbane is one of the few seminaries in the world that has a rock climbing wall. Part of the Hark, or the Health and Recreation Centre. And in this space, we have the rock climbing wall, as well as a pool table and recreation area, and the gym. And all of this is important because the seminarians aren't just forming to be priests, but to be men. And specifically, Men working for the mission of the church as priests. And so all of this is part of their human formation. Now we're in Xavier Hall. It's called Xavier Hall after St. Francis Xavier, who we see here with St. Paul. They're two of the great evangelizers of our church. And so this icon is here to remind the seminarians of their call to be evangelizers within their priestly ministry. So we walk around the hall, we'll see that there's lots of different spaces. And Xavier Hall is used as a multi-purpose facility. Here we have the donor, which is partly used for recreation, but also for different class discussions or group breakouts or even community meetings. Over here, the lounge area. Again, it's part recreational, but also used for different class breakouts and different sorts of teaching. So we keep walking through, we'll see that this lecture style area here with the seats set up in lecture style. And this space is used for classes, but also guest speakers will come in and different functions will be hosted here by the seminary. So we keep walking around to the other side of these screens. We'll see a row of tables set up. This is where the seminarians gather for their community meals. Through those doors there is the kitchen area. And so the community will gather several times a week to have meals together to create that community atmosphere here at the seminary. And lastly, this wall features the ordination classes right from 1948 through to 2001. These are all the priests that have been ordained, mostly through the old seminary where ACU now lives. So we've just stepped out of Xavier Hall behind us and we're standing here with the statue of St. Joseph. St. Joseph is a model for all Catholic men of masculinity and of answering the call. But he's especially a model for our seminarians to encourage them in their vocation and discernment. Through this way is the cloister and along the sides are different classrooms and a music room. Behind that is the administration building. And that concludes our tour of the seminary. This place where men come to answer the call to become priests. What's your vocation? 
Where are you going? How are you going to answer the call?